sustained marks, yeah, definitely. He was getting marks. And can you describe for us what you can remember? Um, yeah. Um, Objection, Your Honor. Can we, can we burn okay. it? All right. Burn. Hold on, Mr. Connolly, for a minute. Uh, so, Mr. Connolly, you can you can continue uh, responding. I, I think the question was just, can you generally describe for us what you remember about the the marks you saw on Mr. Depp? Yes, uh, as I was saying, in the prison service, you're taught to uh, pick up log in your mind, mental mental logging in your mind, marks, bruises, bully patterns, stuff. What I noticed straight away was most of these marks and most of these things through my training was happening in the left hand side of his face and it would be scratches on his neck, maybe a, a, a fat lip in the corner, maybe a bruising on, on the eye socket. Um, dull impacts, you know, except for obviously the scratches maybe on his, below his left ear. Sometimes it would be two, two marks, two lines, two trams, one. Yeah, you know, yeah, and it was getting it was getting more regular. I'm not, as I say, not every week, but it was definitely happening. Yeah. Can we see um, plaintiffs' exhibit one sixty two, please? And Mr. Connolly, uh, are you able to see the picture on? I, I assume you can see it on your screen. Yeah, just can I thank you, please? Yeah, hi, yeah. And do you... Uh, is, um, yeah, I, I know that picture. I took that picture. You that took picture the... picture's on the audit. Yeah, I took the picture. Can you just quickly tell us uh, what, what this picture is? This picture is a uh, Miss Heard and Johnny's honeymoon on the Orating Express on the East Line from Bangkok to Singapore, you travel through Malaysia, stopping at Kuala Lumpur and a few other places on the way down. And that is in the the dining coach, I think. Yeah, dining coach, that's where that is. The guy on the left there with the silver bands around his, he's the waiter. He's the, the waiter with the details to look after us. The guy in the bow tie, uh, he's the guest relations manager. Mr. Mr. Connolly, uh, just hold on one second. Um, before we continue describing the document, I'd, I'd move for the admission of plaintiff's trial exhibit 162 Any? and that it be published to the jury. Any objection? Uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to approach it. Okay. Publish it. All right, and, and Mr. Connolly, I apologize for cutting you off, but could you just continue to describe for us uh, what we're looking at in this picture? Yeah, as I said, the guy in the bow tie, he's a um, guest relations manager. He was detailed to, you know, fix us up with anything we needed, uh, you know, to excursions and transports and stuff. And then it's Miss Heard. The guy, that's the chef who looked after the, he, looked, he, he cooked for us, he's a great chef, by the way. Uh, yeah, he looked after us, and that's Johnny. And I also noticed, if you look at that picture, like I said, on the left-hand side, under his eye, there's a swelling. And you see a, a swelling just on the left-hand side of his nose and under his left eye. And what do you interpret that swelling to be? 
do what do I what do I interpret it as? That's uh, either he's, he's walked into a door, or a door's walked into him. Okay. Can you tell us anything? And we can take this down. I think. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Connolly, can you tell us, uh, well, first of all, what, uh, do you recall what year Mr. Depp and, and Ms. Hurd went on their honeymoon uh, in the picture we were just looking at? Um, that would, is it, I don't know, is it 2013, 2013? Okay, and were you, uh, well, you testified that you took the picture, so you were there, I assume? Absolutely, yes. Um, what can you tell us about that trip generally, and particularly focused on how Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd were interacting with each other? Um, started off good, started off good. Uh, Johnny's cabin was maybe 15 meters down the corridor from mine. There was no cabins in between. There, there was uh, like storerooms, like, you know, blankets and cutlery and stuff. Uh, so the, the, the cabin was quite a but a, a, not a, a big massive distance, but you know, it wasn't like the, the trip started fine, absolutely fine. I think it was five, six days, five days maybe. Two days, three days into the trip, uh, I can see Johnny going down. I can see him coming down, you know. Uh, he's just he's just not enjoying this. He's not enjoying this. But, it's, you know, I, I can't, it's, it's not my business to, to step in and that. I just do my job, but I can see he's not enjoying this. He's just not. He's not happy. He's not happy. Did you ever observe any arguments between Mr. Depp and Miss Hurd in this time frame? Just uh, not arguments, but uh, some frostiness. Miss Hurd uh, sort of demanded that you know we have our own our own uh, dining cart, if you like. So me doing my job, I inquire to the, the guest relations guy there that you've seen in the photograph. And he quite rightly tells me that, you know, there's other objection VIPs hearsay. Objection, okay. hearsay. Right. objection to hearsay, all right. I'll I, I think we can move on. Okay, I'll yeah. stay in objection. Next question. All right, so Mr. Uh, Mr. Connolly, um, well, taking a step back for a minute and changing topics slightly, um, have you ever seen Mr. Depp use any drugs? I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Go ahead. Yes, I've seen him uh, smoke marijuana. Uh, I had my suspicions. I have my suspicions that when he goes off to the bathroom, he he, he probably does a bit of cocaine. I've never seen him do it. As Mr. Depp would never do a line or anything of cocaine in front of me, or Jerry Judge, or Sean Bett, or anybody. Mr. Johnny Depp would never compromise my my license, my position, and embarrass me like that. It wouldn't happen. So to answer to your question, I, I've seen him smoke weed, yes. You noticed any particular, what changes, if any, have you noticed in his behavior when he's under the influence of marijuana? Um, to be honest, a bit more, a, a bit more, uh, relaxed, no, sort of uptight, but he, I mean, he's he's not he's not a, he's, he's not out of his head. He, he's perfectly functioning. I mean, you can talk about anything, any conversation you want to talk about. He's neither up nor down with that. You know, he's, he really isn't. He's got a very high tolerance for any substance, Johnny. You know, I would say so. You know, I think uh, Jack Sparrow's more drunk than Johnny Depp. To be honest. <laughs> So, okay, so that's that's uh, marijuana. What about alcohol? Same question. Um, he likes, he, well, he used to like a wine. And the last, the last, um, I would say the last 